So let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Okay, at the beginning of June, it looks like you may have some reluctance to come out of your shell about something. Um, the Four of Cups represents where, where so the universe is trying to hand us something. Cups always represent a fulfillment of the heart. And in the imagery of the card, you can see that there's someone who is wanting to be, um, is being given something, but is not actually putting themselves in a place of receiving it. They're actually kind of just like hiding out um, and not, and just focusing inwards on themselves. They're not, they're too preoccupied with what exists to accept anything else. Even though this is something that would fill their heart, even if it's something that would, would be something that they would love, they're having a hard time seeing it or receiving it. So Aquarius, and in the reverse position, it's saying that for some reason you may have some doubts or fears about opening yourself up to receive more. So I'm gonna, or coming out of your shell. So I'm gonna encourage you at the beginning of June to do that, um, Aquarius, and just kind of give yourself a chance to open up to things. That's what that card is saying. You've got a uh, Knight of Rods showing up for you, and that's a card, it's the Knight of Fire. So it's, it could be either a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, or, um, why am I blanking on Sagittarius? Um, but Knight of Rods is someone who is courageous, is daring. Knights have balancing energies, so it's someone who's trying to balance being courageous with being overly cocky, or being daring with being foolhardy. So when this card shows up, it's it's inviting you to be courageous about something. It's inviting you to, um, you know, on in the rider weight, he's got he's on a horse and the horse is up on two legs. So it's inviting you to connect with your fiery side or your courageous side, or it could literally be a um, fire sign person. So it could be, again, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, and sometimes, often, um, night shows up as a younger person. So this could be a young, fiery, passionate, daring person, or that could just be the energy that's showing up for you to embody that. Um, in also coming at the beginning of June, I'm seeing some sort of loss for you, Aquarius. I'm not sure exactly why, but five of coins and five of cups are both cards that talk about loss. You can One is more of a physical loss and one is more of an emotional loss. The coins card has to do with like uh, loss of health or loss of money, anything to do with the physical realm. So you can see in the imagery of the card that there's someone who's been injured and there's someone, a nun or someone in the spiritual realm who's who's helping him and attending to him. And the message of this card is that if we focus on the material world, we can often feel uh, bereft and empty. But if we focus on the spiritual world, you'll see that the light within that church there is always available to us. So it's like a warm, comforting energy. Um, and then also with this Five of Cups, there's you can see the figure is focused on the loss, the three cups that are spilled in the foreground. Um, but then behind the figure, there's still two cups standing. So it's saying that there's still love available to you. What these two cards to, together to me say is that you may have fear of some material loss. That's the five of coins energy. Um, and that you may be focusing on the sorrow or the loss aspect of that. But that there is comfort available to you both in the five of coins and there is love still available to you that's with that five of cups card so if you experience if you end up being daring and you're you're afraid of of encountering a loss or you actually do encounter a loss at the beginning of of june realize that there's comfort available to you there's still love available to you five is also a number of change and transformation so if there's a way in which things change and you, it feels like a loss to you know that there's comfort and also especially in the spiritual world for you and then also there's love still available to you um it just means you might have to turn around to see it you might have to change your focus or your perspective because the way you're seeing things right now is focusing on the loss or the grief or the sorrow of it. 
so then in the middle of the month, Aquarius, you have, um, this is a water sign that's showing up for you. So this could be Pisces, it could be Cancer, or it could be Scorpio. And this is someone who has good advice or good counsel for you, especially relating to matters of the heart. I mostly see it in relation to this here. She's, I'm actually seeing that in this card, this person's comforting you. In this one, she's, you may experience that loss of grief, but I'm seeing this as someone who can help you get through that feel, those feelings of loss. Um, she's very compassionate. She's very intuitive. She's very loving. She's very heart-centered. So she can actually um, help you get through that, have words of comfort, of care, of wisdom, of tenderness. This could also be like a counselor that you go to, or it could just be someone, a good friend, or a mother, a sister, an aunt, any of that. Kind. Someone who has this archetype of mastery of the heart, and they're very very compassionate and heart-centered. I see in the middle of the month that there is, there may be money that you were expecting or something that was security that is actually not coming to you as much as you thought or in the way that you thought. When this card shows up, let's see, I'm Let's see if when this card shows up, this is Ten of Coins and this is Inheritance or this is Money Received. But being surrounded by this Three of Coins energy in reverse, this is your friends and family. Um, this is your immediate community, your immediate social circle. And with that in reverse, I see that as related to gossip or people talking about things, you know, maybe jealousy in relation to any money that's received, or they're kind of, they're, they're throwing it into disarray. Or, I mean, it can also be, Ten of Coins can be security in the home, domesticity, um, enjoying your money and then these are people who are looking on and and jealous of that or in, in the upright position three of coins means a support and celebration with those like-minded people and those who we love and who love us in the reverse position this is still your community these are still people that are in your environment and around but they're not saying nice things they're not celebrating with you that's they're, they're kind of celebrating against you or there there may be some jealousy involved. So just try to, this card is a card of, it's an angel, it's temperance. So it's, try to just employ forgiveness and balance and moderation. This is a card of peace and that's where temp, the angel of temperance lives in a place of peace, in a place of moderation, in a place of staying one foot grounded and then one foot in this emotional water. So having a balance between your emotional world and your physical world, you know, temperance just means being, being balanced, being serene, being at peace. So don't let whatever's going on. If you're, if you're noticing any sort of gossip or hen picking or criticism or any of that kind of stuff, I get like click energy that there's the click and the social circle is not, not being favorable to you um, or anything regards to this money or security or enjoyment of money. Um, just try to maintain an even keel, an even balance. Don't let it rock your boat. It doesn't seem like you will. With this, with this angel of temperance, you seem to have this even, even footedness where it's, things are not going to bother you to that point. There is some way in which some young man this Knight of Coins may be impacting your home life. So Knight of Coins is usually an earth sign, so Taurus, Capricorn, or um, Virgo. And this is usually a younger man. He's in the reverse position, along with the home position, and along with your relationship. So interesting Aquarius this is normally two of cups is a love affair affair of the heart and this is the home card four of wands celebration of the home the castle your fortress you know and then this guy is kind of challenging that these are all in reverse so in some ways whether he is showing up and he's throwing your relationship into um 
being topsy-turvy or upside down or whether you're considering him for a relationship if he this could be like a roommate that comes into your house or it could be like some a gardener or even like a lawyer who represents your house or something to do with the house where he's challenging the house and in that way or the home and in that way he's also challenging the relationship that's going on so be aware that nobody is seeing things in a in clear light with what's going on at the end of the month it's especially damaging to relationships with this with this uh, knight of of coins person and sometimes this can be a salesman this guy is who considers the bottom line he's he's generally um involved with managing finances or budgeting or money or values or possessions in some way so Consider that that if you want your house upside down, then invite him in. But if you want to maintain any relationship that you're in or any like love affair, if he's not a good person to be in partnership with, is what I'll say. So if you have someone like that showing up, your your house and your relationship go upside down with him. Um, and then towards the end of the month, you have Eight of Wands, which is all about when things come together, when things um, when things are lining up. It's sort of like the same energy of when um, a, a pot is boiling. So things are coming together, things are happening swiftly. Eight of Wands also means getting the last piece of information that unlocks the puzzle. And I get the sense that you may get some piece of information about this young man, about this um, earth sign man, that may like help solve things for you towards the end of the month. So that's my reading for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down in the comments. Again, I'm sorry for the uh, lighting here. I normally have this this uh, arranged, but I'm doing this with a little bit of, of light coming through the window. So uh, again, any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comments section. And otherwise, I just want to thank everyone for watching. As always, yours in the stars.